Let's denote the equations of the two curves by 1 and 2 respectively. Note that both curves pass through the origin. Now the joint equation of the lines joining the origin to the other points of intersection of the two curves 1 and 2 is obtained by making equation 1 homogeneous of degree 2 using equation 2. Now the equation of the first curve is ax square plus 2hxy plus by square plus 2gx is equal to 0. And the equation of the second curve is a dash x square plus 2h dash xy plus b dash y square plus 2g dash x is equal to 0. Now notice that in the first equation, the first three terms are of degree 2 and the last term is of degree 1. Similarly, in the second equation, the first three terms are of degree 2 and the last term is of degree 1. Now multiply the first equation with g dash and the second equation with g and take the difference, we get x square times in brackets a g dash minus a dash g plus 2xy times in brackets h g dash minus h dash g plus y square times in brackets b g dash minus b dash g plus 2x times in brackets g g dash minus g dash g is equal to 0. Notice that the last term is equal to 0 and that the remaining equation is homogeneous of degree 2 and therefore it represents the joint equation of the lines joining the origin to the points of intersections of curves 1 and 2. Now this equation represents a pair of perpendicular straight lines if the coefficient of x square plus the coefficient of y square is equal to 0 which implies that a g dash minus a dash g plus b g dash minus b dash g is equal to 0. This can be written as minus g times in brackets a dash plus b dash plus g dash times in brackets a plus b is equal to 0. Multiplying both sides by minus 1, we get g times in brackets a dash plus b dash minus g dash times in brackets a plus b is equal to 0. And this is the required result.